Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony garden. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to care for hyacinths grown in pots. I'm going to be doing a separate video on hyacinth aftercare, so what to do with your hyacinths once they've finished flowering. I am obsessed with growing bulbs, I love them, I'm fascinated with them. I've created a playlist on how to plant them, how to care for them, so if you're interested in that I will link it above. Let's get started. So hyacinths, the smell, it's the smell. It, it's just divine. Hyacinths have so much to offer. They're one of the most popular spring plants. They smell divine, as I've said. They're absolutely architecturally stunning. They're so easy to care for as well, and they're so versatile. So you can plant them in mixed borders out in the open soil. You can plant them into containers, hanging baskets, or you can bring them inside as a temporary house plant like I have done. Hyacinths are what we call spring flowering bulbous perennials and they are native to East Mediterranean regions. The plant emerges from the centre of the bulb. It produces about six to nine linear green leaves and these leaves circle the central spike or spikes because it can be up to three on one bulb. The flower spike emerges from this central growth point and when the stem first begins to emerge these bell shaped flowers are closed but as the spike begins to grow taller then the flowers open and then we are blessed with that smell i love it on this flower spike here i think there's something up to 40 individual flowers this arrangement of flowers around the central spike like this is called a raceme the bulbs are actually poisonous and they contain something called oxalic acid so if you're handling hyacinth bulbs for any length of time it might be an idea to wear protective gloves especially if you have sensitive skin. Now let's move to the care. So when we have our hyacinths in pots outside make sure you place them in a sunny protected positions. Hyacinths really like full sun when they're flowering. If you've planted your own hyacinth bulbs in pots water sparingly until you start to see the flower emerging from the bulb or from underneath the soil. Once this happens, start watering regularly, so maybe one to two times a week. And make sure that the soil is always moist but never saturated, so never have your pots ever sitting in water because the bulbs, if they're ever sitting in water, there's a high chance that they could rot and then they're going to die. When we bring our hyacinths inside, choose a really bright windowsill or a bright spot where it's going to receive lots of light. Hyacinth is an early spring flowering plant and like all of the early spring flowering plants are so things like tulips, primroses as well. They're cool weather plants so they would much prefer to be in cooler temperatures. And the cooler the temperature, the longer these flowers are going to last as well. So when you're looking for a spot to put them in, try and find a cooler part of your home. When it comes to watering, it's exactly the same as the bulbs outside. When the plants haven't started to emerge yet, water sparingly when they do and when they start to emerge up your water levels again making sure that it's never sitting in water for most homes i think that's probably about two to three times a week another tip is to rotate your hyacinths because this raceme here this flower spike is really top heavy it's going to pull the spike down and if you're like me and didn't do it in time you're gonna to have to stake the hyacinths so make sure just every day or every few days you rotate your hyacinth it's going to produce a more erect stem once they finish flowering, you can plant them outside into your garden or into your green space. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing an aftercare video, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you're all staying safe and well. Send you all my love, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.